Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you've been following the channel recently, you might have noticed that I've picked up several stoves from the company Primus. And today we're going to check out another one that should prove that you do not have to spend a lot of money to get a good quality and effective camp stove. Stay tuned, we're going to check out the classic backpacking stove from Primus. Thanks for watching guys. Many times with stoves, it looks like we're looking for the things that are ultralight, compact, powerful, foldable, whatever it is. But in the end, what we really want is something that's durable, functional, and bulletproof. This is the Primus Classic Trail Backpacking Stove. Very, very simple stove. Familiar design to many. Does come with this little nylon carrying case that's better than nothing, I guess. Dimensions are 4.9 by 4.9 by 3.2, weighs 6.9 ounces. Output is 10,000 BTUs. Like all Primus gear, it's made in Estonia. Price is $23. Pretty darn good price. As far as features go, it is very robust. It is very durable, has no folding parts, no moving parts, other than the knob to uh, turn your fuel on and off. It is four inches wide, very strong, strong enough to hold almost any pot or size pot you want to put on top of it. Has a very large and wide burner pattern, which is also good for larger pots, and just a really nice intuitive handle. A lot of these Primus stoves have these little knobs, and it's just so much nicer than those big wire things. You have decent flame control, not the best in the world but you can get it down pretty low. I have a feeling you could easily blow that out, wind would easily, but this little knob is great. It holds where you stop it. Doesn't change a lot. Pretty nice stuff. something a little different we're gonna add to as you guys could see there the the flame is so wide that it was going around that mug pot and I have a feeling that it really lowered the efficiency I mean we used 15 grams of fuel uh, which is crazy so we're gonna do it again here with a little bit wider pot this is a kettle from GSI and if we if it still doesn't fit it well we have an even bigger pot to try but I just want to make sure that we represent the stove well uh, and realize that it really is wide. I mean, I knew that it was a wide flame, but my goodness gracious, that thing was really wide. When I tried it at home several times, I was using the MSR Alpinist, which is just because I had gotten it, I was trying it out, and it's much wider. I didn't realize how much wider it was than the mug pop. But anyway, let's try it with this and see how it goes. So let's review real quick, just to show you guys the importance of making sure you use your gear correctly. Y'all could see just how wide the flame was, and it was basically going all the way and around my mug pot from Evernew. When I used that pot, it took two minutes, 47 seconds to get two cups of water to a boil, and it used 15 grams of fuel, which is really high. For, for most of these stoves that I test, Anywhere from, you know, a really good one will be seven or eight, and then most are nine or ten. Then we switched it over and we used the kettle, which is much wider, basically encapsulated all of the flame. And we got it to a boil in two minutes, 15 seconds, and we used 10 grams of fuel. So quite a bit faster, almost 40 seconds faster, and five grams less fuel. Pretty impressive when you use the right size pot. You guys know the drill. Let's talk pros and cons. We'll start with the pros and there's no reason to look any further than the price. 
at $22 to $24, it's pretty hard to beat this stove. It's got very good flame control. It's also very sturdy. You can use small pots, you can use big pots, you can use big heavy pots. And that's something to think about. If you're gonna be cooking like for Boy Scouts and you're gonna have a big pot of pasta or something on top of it, this stove can actually withstand that weight. It also has pretty good wind resistance without any windscreen because it is such a wide based burner and it does put the pot very close to the burner. It works pretty well in the wind. Now, of course, it's gonna be better with some wind protection like any stove will, but on its own, it's pretty good. As far as the cons go, it is large, much larger than your normal stove. Comes with a eh, all right carrying case. It is a nylon carrying case. It's not very thick. I think it could be very easily punctured by the stove. And if the stove could puncture the nylon carrying case, it could puncture your nice Dyneema backpack. So make sure you're careful with that. I would store it inside of a metal container, like a metal pot, for example, just to be sure. It is larger. It has a large burner, so it's going to be less fuel efficient than a lot of the smaller stoves we look at. And it does not have a piezo igniter, which isn't a big deal, but just something to note. Like I said earlier, a lot of times we focus on certain things when it comes to gear. Super lightweight, super efficient, intricate design. And ultimately, this stove is none of that, but it absolutely works. It does what it's supposed to do. In the end, what a stove's job is, is to take fuel, convert it into heat, and transfer it to the bottom of your pot so you can boil or cook with it. This stove does just that and does it very well. It also does it very well for a very low price, less than 25 bucks, really good deal. It's a classic design, and at the end of the day, you're gonna know this stove can take a beating and it's gonna continue to work for you day in and day out no matter what you throw at it, I think it's very unlikely that you're gonna damage this stove to the point that it won't work. What do you guys think out there? Do any of you have this stove? There are other stoves that are similarly designed. There's one from GSI, for example, that I have. I really like this stove. I like it a little bit better than that one. I really like the knob. I know I keep talking about those little things, but the knob is something that I find very comfortable and easy to use. What do you guys think? Y'all have any comments? Make sure you leave comments down below. All those comments really help the channel interact, good comments, bad comments, whatever it might be. If you do like the video, hit that thumbs up. Hey, if you don't like the video, I guess hit the thumbs down. That's just fine with me. I'm a big boy. Any interaction with you guys really helps the channel grow. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos here on the channel, hit the notification bell and you will be the first to know. Excited to check out a couple more stoves from Primus today. It is rainy outside here in Arkansas, raining pretty good but I'm still having a great time inside testing these stoves. As always, appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.